Hello, thank you for watching my very first WoW video strategy guide. This guide will cover the fifth encounter in the Dragon Soul Raid instance, Ultraxian, in 10 man format. Ultraxian is a fairly simple encounter that will require two tanks, two to three healers, and a decent amount of DPS. This is Dragon Soul's gear and DPS check. Your DPS will need to be high enough to avoid a tight six minute Harden Rage. Additionally, the longer the fight goes on, the more damage the raid will take. On 10 man, Ultraxian has 56.7 million HP. Your raid will need to dish out 157,500 DPS in order to kill Ultraxian exactly at 6 minutes. Assuming the tanks are able to put out 12k themselves, this leaves 133,500 DPS that must be output by your raid's DPSers. If you are using 3 healers, each DPS will need to maintain 26,700 DPS to kill him in 6 minutes. If you are using two healers, each DPS will need to maintain 22,500 DPS to kill him in 6 minutes. 23k is definitely a number that most damage dealers should be able to manage in full 378 gear. Keep in mind this is also an average across all DPS, so if some are higher they can pull the weight of those lower DPS. That being said, it is ideal to kill him before enrage, as his damage ramps up each minute he is engaged. The final minute of the fight will be the most taxing on your healers. Thankfully though, they will be able to receive buffs to help. Once you have engaged Ultraxian, he will pull the raid into the Twilight Realm. You will see an extra button bar pop up in the middle of your screen towards the bottom. If you do not see this button, you can still use the ability there by creating a macro as follows. Slash click space extra action button 1. You can find this macro in the notes below. The special ability you get in this fight is called Heroic Will. When you enable this ability, you will be pulled from the Twilight Realm for 5 seconds. While outside of the Twilight Realm, you will not be able to move, attack, or cast any spells, but this ability will allow you to avoid two of Ultraxian's one-shot mechanics. The first mechanic you should know about is Unstable Monstrosity, the constant damage your raid will be taking throughout the fight. You will see beams of twilight radiate from the boss to strike the platform your raid is on. These arcs of twilight cause 1,100,000 shadow damage to the raid, split evenly between all players in the Twilight Realm. On pull, the time between these arcs will be 6 seconds. For each minute that Ultraxian is engaged, the time between arcs will be reduced by 1 second, eventually reducing to 1 second between arcs in the final minute of the encounter. Your heals will likely not have very much to heal in the first few minutes of this fight. Now on to Ultraxian's one-shot mechanics. The first one is called Hour of Twilight, and will be the first cast by Ultraxian after the pull. Hour of Twilight will show as a 5 second cast along with a giant purple ball of electricity in front of his face. Everyone in the raid will need to enable their heroic will ability to remove themselves from the Twilight Realm, with one exception, the current tank. Anyone without a damage reduction cooldown popped caught in the Hour of Twilight will certainly die. On 10 man, only one player will need to remain in the Twilight Realm to soak the Hour of Twilight. If no one is in the Twilight Realm when Hour of Twilight hits, the NPCs that are helping you with the encounter will be hit popping their protected bubbles, and triggering Ultraxian's enrage early to wipe your raid. The tank that is tanking Ultraxian at the time of Hour of Twilight's cast will need to pop defensive cooldowns to soak the damage. Thrall has helpfully buffed the tanks with a 50% reduction in cooldown time and 100% duration bonus on all defensive CDs. The tanks will have their big CDs available for every soak that they are required to take. The other one-shot mechanic is called Fading Light. This will debuff the current tank and one other random player on 10 men. The debuff will have a duration ranging between 5 to 10 seconds. It is important to watch for the debuff and to also watch for the time left on your debuff. You will want to time the use of heroic will so that you are removed from the twilight realm when the debuff expires. For example, if you are debuffed with fading light and have 8 seconds left on the debuff, you will want to wait at least 3 seconds before hitting your heroic will. As a general rule, you should try to use Heroic Will within 4 seconds left on Fading Light. If you do this properly, you will take no damage and simply be returned to the Twilight Realm. You will likely not run into this, but if there are no players within melee range of Ultraxian, he will pulse 75,000 Twilight damage and put a stacking debuff on the raid increasing magical damage taken. Simply just stay in melee range. As a tank on this fight, you will find yourself tank swapping a lot. The pattern of Fading Twilight and Hour of Twilight will require a fast tank swap right before Hour of Twilight hits. Even with Thrall's reduction on cooldowns, you will still need to alternate tanks for each Hour of Twilight to ensure maximum survivability. 
Here's how your tanking rotation should go. Tank 1 starts the fight tanking and soaks the first hour of twilight. Tank 1 will then get the fading light debuff and Tank 2 will need to taunt. Tank 2 will then get the fading light debuff and Tank 1 will need to taunt. Now Tank 2 should taunt as soon as they are back in the twilight realm to soak the hour of twilight. Repeat this rotation in reverse for the next round, and then rinse and repeat throughout the fight. Fading Light will wipe the debuff player's threat and negate threat generation for 5 seconds, but this should not cause any issues as you will be taunt swapping each other's threat. The healers will be able to pick up some fairly awesome buffs during this encounter. The first one to appear will be Alexstrasza's Gift of Life, which will show up as a red crystal. Clicking this crystal will buff the clicker with a 100% increase in healing done for the rest of the fight. We elected to have our Holy Paladin take this buff. The red crystal will spawn about a minute 30 into the fight. The second crystal to appear is Ysera's Essence of Dreams, which will show up as a green crystal. Clicking this crystal will buff the clicker with a buff that will duplicate all healing done and spread it evenly to all players in the raid for the rest of the fight. We elected to have our Resto Shaman take this buff. The green crystal should spawn 2 minutes 30 seconds into the fight. The last to appear will be Caligos' Source of Magic, which will show as a blue crystal. Clicking this crystal will buff the clicker with a 75% mana cost reduction and 100% spell haste buff for the rest of the fight. We elected to have our Holy Priest take this buff. However, next week we will only be running two healers for this encounter. This crystal will spawn 3 minutes 30 seconds into the fight. Your raid will gain one other buff towards the end of the fight from Nostormu called Time Loop. Any damage that would kill you will instead proc the time loop buff and return you to full health. This will only happen once. It can be a very nice buff to help you through the end of the fight. As you can see on our first kill here, it enabled us to win. All in all, this fight will require your raid members to watch for a cast and a debuff, and to know when to click a lifesaving button. Your tanks will need to be snappy on swapping, and your healers will have to know which crystal they will be clicking. Once you have this under control, you will have a dead dragon. Thank you for watching this video guide. There will definitely be more to come. Feel free to watch the entire video of our first kill of Viltraxian, with mumble chatter included. Still didn't work. Oh, it worked. There we go. Watch out for the debuff guy. Honey. Ready to spawn. Alex Drazas. Do you care? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. Everyone up. Watch your debuff, guys. Is that the spawning? Everyone up. Bye. 
there's green. Awning. Everyone up. Tony. Another light one. Gonna hit for you guys. Keep watching the light. What are you up there? Conning? When are we lost it? Just wait. After maybe the, the next big thing. Everyone up, up. Watch your e-bus. I think, I think we hit the. Oh, I think we hit the soft and rage. The fuck? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's definitely the soft and rage. It gets yeah. to the point where you catch the I think, I think you're supposed to two heal it.